I got a request for a chapter 2 problem. It is number 23. And it's making a buffer from sodium dihydrogen phosphate and disodium hydrogen phosphate. And the question is asking us, how much of each would you have to combine to make one liter of a buffer at pH 7? And the pKa, that's the acid form, that's the, the base form. The pKa of that acid is 6.86. I would give that to you in this problem in the textbook they're saying go look in the chapter at the table or at the figure that gives you that number. So to clarify the reaction that's occurring in our buffer system is H2PO4 forming its conjugate base form HPO4 2 minus we dropped off the sodium counter ions because they're not really working in the buffer so we've left them out of our reaction. So to figure out how much of each we need let's go to Henderson-Hasselbalch pH equals pKa plus log of A minus over HA. Plug in 7 for our pH 6.86 for our pKa and we're being and we're going to solve for the log a the conjugate base version is HPO4 the acid is H2PO4 remember the acid form will be the one that's more protonated the deprotonated form is its conjugate base So you subtract 6.86 from 7, and you take the antilog, and you'll get HPO4 2 minus over H2PO4 equals 1.38. At this point, I've talked about this before, there's two routes you can take that'll take you to the same final answer. It's good to understand both ways. Use the way that makes most sense to you. So I'll, I'll show both ways and you can decide what you'd like to do. So if we were to cross multiply, we'd get HPO4 equals 1.38 times H2PO4. This now is showing us an equivalence. We know that both forms, HPO4 and H2PO4, have to equal 0.1 molar, because the phosphate buffer will be in either this form or this form to equal 0.1 molar in total. So that's a fact, and we can do a substitution now to go down to one variable or one unknown so we can do the algebra. So instead of writing HPO4 2 minus, we know that that is the same as writing 1.38 H2PO4. We're doing a substitution. 1.38 times H2PO4 plus H2PO4 equals 0.1 molar. Now you can add your all down to one variable so you could do the algebra and say 2.38 H2PO4 equals 0.1 molar H2PO4 equals 0.1 divided by 2.38 which is 0.042 moles per liter. 
That means that your HPO4 is one minus or rather O point one minus O point O four two moles. And you may have noticed I got lazy and I stopped putting the charges next to the species. So I'll just go back for completion's sake. Because I know some of you are like, where'd they go? Put minus, 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 and then two minus. So HPO4 two minus you'd have 0 0.058 moles per liter. But you are not done, because the question is asking, how many grams of each would you put in a liter? So now you have to go back and look at the molecular weight. So for H2PO4, The molecular weight was 138 grams per mole. So if you're only using 0.042 moles, how many grams is that? It's 5.8 grams. So that's how much you put in one liter. And for HPO4, the molecular weight is 142 grams per mole, and you were given this in the beginning of the problem, in the setup of the problem, times the amount of moles that you have, and that equals 8.2 grams in one liter. So I said that I would show a different way of doing the algebra back when you were calculating the molar ratio. So I just wanted to quickly show that. So flashback, we're back to the molar ratio after Henderson-Hasselbalch. And you're at 1.38 for those two. Remember in the previous way I cross multiplied, but in this way, you put a one in the denominator, and you say, for every amount of that species, I have that much, and for that species, I have that much. So if you have 1.38 of every HPO4, 2 minus, and 1 for 1 of every H2PO4, you combine those two and say, well, in total, I've got 2.38 species, and 1.38 of them will be HPO4 and 1 out of every 2.38 will be H2PO4. You divide that so you get 0.58 and 0.42 and that gives you the relative amounts. Now, like 58% versus 42%. So how much actual moles you have, you have to multiply by the total molarity. And you, when you do that, this becomes 0 0.058 moles of HPO4, and this is 0 0.042 moles of H2PO4. And you go from moles to grams just like you do for the other method using the molecular weight. 
So pick the method that makes most sense to you. It's nice to understand both ways so that you could do either one depending on what you feel like.